Hello everyone and welcome to Admister Studios. So I'm going to do this quick video to show how we will update our application to Angular 9. So it's already too old to continue with Angular 6. So we'll update to the newer version and make all the necessary changes. And this particular video will also facilitate uh, in uh, changing any other application any and previous angular application to a new version so we're going to see what approach we should be checking taking in case we want to do this upgrade for any other application so let's start with what we have okay so what we are going to do is we will install angular cli whatever the latest version is we'll install that one global level then we'll create a new application with this new angular 9 and then uh, we'll simply clone our existing project and compare both the packages and see what the changes are and we'll make the changes accordingly so let's get started let me install npm install angular cli okay and we want to do it at a global level so hyphen g we'll wait for it to install okay so now we can see it's installed uh, the current version it's installed is 9.1.4 so we'll make the changes accordingly but before that let's create a new application so ng new uh, let's call it an app okay App mine maybe okay and let's see so we will wait for the new app to create let's see what are the options we would like to add routing yes we want to add routing with CSS okay now it's going to take some time so finally it is installed let's now clone our repo okay so here is the repo those who do not know are joining for the first time you can note down the address it's github slash administer and you will find all the repositories here so we are specifically going to clone this one so copy and let's clone <coughs> this is not going to take much time so we'll wait and yeah while it's happening we can open visual code and let's open this folder to compare so we are actually in let's select this folder so we have both the application let's start with the new application that we created with the new CLI so if I'll go to package.json okay we'll see angular animation common compiler core forms platform platform browser dynamic and router see these all are the latest version then we have zone uh, okay so let's copy everything from here okay so we are copying all the dependencies going back to our original application and first we can delete this little package.log.json because this file will automatically be created so we can simply delete this one package log move to recycle bin let's double click package.json and I am going to copy it at the beginning of the dependency list with a comma so now whatever that's duplicate will automatically be populated we highlighted so I can start deleting rx okay I can do that I can do this one as well 
okay then we don't need the router the platform in fact HTTP is also not required so okay I'll tell you about HTTP okay so now we have removed everything that's duplicate we don't need this one because now we will not be using this okay now as I see we have Mm, nothing okay now let's come to dev dependencies similar to what we did in here we'll copy all the dependencies from here and okay, let me copy it at the end this time and let me just one by one remove what is duplicate CLI service okay jasmine node code lighter jasmine karma okay protectors done ts load and ts lint okay let's get rid of extra spaces fine so now we see we have everything set now save this and what next we have to do is let's go to this folder our application folder let me and run npm install and we'll wait for it to install all the packages so in case of an error We'll see if it shows any error. Okay. So it's done with some warnings. Let's check out these warnings. I mean, there are so many warnings. So most of it can actually be resolved by npm audit fix. So we'll try this first. Okay. So in fact there are just two low severity vulnerabilities but still we'll try to fix those by running this command if it fix it otherwise we'll continue with these no problem so we see that it could not be fixed so no problem we'll just review once more if there is something mm, so it shows that angular in memory web api requires a pair of angular common six so we need to update this one so let's do this npm install angular in memory web api so this is the next step we are running into next okay we have uh nm ngx markdown as well mm -mm okay we'll do that update as well let's see how this turn out so installation didn't help let's first uninstall and then because it's keeping the same version okay we'll do this uninstallation and followed by installation and i think we can uninstall ngx markdown as well Okay, let's do it after this. So it's done. I'm, next, I'm going to remove npm uninstall ngx markdown. So this is also done. Now let's install both of these packages again install this as well as angular in memory web api Oops. 
hopefully after this we'll be able to run our application using ng serve and see how this turns out okay so it's time we run ng serve and see if our application is working or not So we have our first error showing up in the screen. Let me just maximize and see what it is. So it says that one of the statement uh, in this file, configuration file, has some error. So we can fix that. And then other than this, it's showing that this particular file is not showing under TypeScript compilation. So let's see how we can fix this one okay so I'm going to stop batch file back to the code and let's look at this file under configuration so we'll go to source app and here I have this configuration dot ts so this is the in fact we are not even using this so let's comment this out for the time being we'll see if this changes the first error let's run this again and see So it's showing some progress. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see if we get to see this error again. Let it reflect from ID. Other one will fix. Okay, so one 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 of the issue is fixed. Let's look at the other one. So we'll have to fix this one too. Let me just go to code and see how we can fix this one. So here is the file inside blog. We have this file with the name posts. Okay. Could this be because it's case sensitive or something? Let's just try renaming this to small p. Okay, so now it's showing that we have to update automatically. Yes, always we can say yes for now. So it will automatically update. Let me save this, this as well, and see if there is any change. So now it's recompiling, and yes, it fixed the issue. It's pretty much the issue with the file name. So now let's see how our website looks like yes we are back in okay is the login working okay I will check this out again and see how we can resolve problems related to Mm, yes so we'll continue with this and we'll probably update whatever that is left in the previous video set and once this is done maybe we'll do a fresh series and show you with us some new template or something or maybe using the same template with angular 9 so those who are not able to use angular 6 now can use angular 9 and be able to achieve the same functionality so thank you for joining us stay tuned do share if you like the content, thank you so much.